this is Vivica Williams and you're watching Head to Head. This week, female veterans, volunteers and social workers walk the runway of Ukrainian designer fashion show where Ukraine's national clothing, the Vyshevanka. The event was organized in honor of Vyshevanka Day, which is celebrated each year on the third Thursday of May. To talk more about the fashion show and Vyshevanka Day, we welcome to the studio journalist and activist Lesia Voron Voronuk. She's also one of the organizers of the show and a founder of World Vishivanka Day. Lesia, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. First of all, tell me about this fashion show, because it wasn't just a fashion show. Yes, uh, at first we want to show international community that uh, Ukrainian culture and Ukraine is very unique uh, country, uh, is an independent country with a special history and culture, and we are not part of empire or, or, or of some uh, other things, so we are independent. And um, in this um, diplomatic reception. There were uh, many um, foreign politicians mm -hmm. and uh, um, we tried to show that um, yes, really, we have uh, uh, war in Ukraine and we tried to show Ukrainian women who take part in this war. So it made uh, a way of showing the national clothing in in celebration of the upcoming Vyshevanka Day, but also highlighting highlighting the the women behind the culture of this in Ukraine and the strong women as well. Yes, mm -hmm. our Ukrainian uh, women uh, are very strong. Um, they are really great uh, soldiers, and they understand their mission now in in Ukraine. But also, they are really very beautiful. They are moms, they are sisters, they are doctors, volunteers, and they understand that they must do uh, all um, to uh, stop this war. So they're showing all sides. And speaking of the this, this, the thing behind this, the, the idea behind it with Vyshevanka Day, so you're one of the founders of Vyshevanka Day, and it's now World Vyshevanka Day. How, how did it get started? Um, Vyshevanka Day started as a flash map action in Chernivtsi. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was a student, I saw my friend Igor Zhitaryuk. Mm -hmm. He um, dressed Vyshevanka at the university and me too. Uh, and I um, said to him, uh, um, let's uh, dress Vyshevanka together mm -hmm. in one day. and. Um, he uh, made that, and I and uh, our friends. And first, how, how long ago was this? It was twelve years ago. Twelve years yes. ago. Yes, wow. I was student. <laughs> <laughs> twelve years ago. Wow. And so, from that, was there video? Other people were inspired by this. Yes, and uh, other um, friends, our students. Um, saw us and liked this uh, holiday and uh, really we worked uh, this year very hard to um, make uh, this holiday better and to show for Ukrainian people and uh, to show for other countries uh, that um, we have great thing it is Vyshevanka. And so May, uh, May 17th or the 3rd May in May uh, Thursday in May became the official uh, holiday in in Ukraine. When did that happen? Um, now uh, it's not official uh -huh. holiday, uh, Vyshevanka Day, but um, all people in Ukraine love this holiday very much, like Independent Day, for example. Uh, and uh, many people wear Vyshevanka um, to work, to school, to university, and to kindergarten. And um, um, and it spread from there, so now we see uh, in other countries as well. And you said that it's in uh, how many countries now? That um, in uh, uh, 2017, World Vyshevanka Day was in uh, 70 countries. Oh. And I hope tomorrow we will have um, more countries than oh. last year. And so on May 17th, what do you have planned for this day? Uh, we 
plan to see many people in Vashavankas. We plan um, many flash mob actions uh, all around the world. Uh, we plan um, many information and media projects uh, to show the people, to show for, for people that um, Vashavanka is not just a beautiful clothes. It's our symbol of love, of free, of freedom, uh, of um, uh, Ukrainian independence. And it's very important now in Ukraine. So what can people expect to see in Kyiv? What type of events are, are held? Is there, will there be something uh, in the center of Kyiv or some uh, things that are officially put together by your organization? Uh, tomorrow we are going to um, small children uh, who will born this night mm -hmm. and we will present to them small Vashavankas. Oh wow, so you'll go to hospitals, yes. there'll be this thing to go for newborns to receive yes. their, their we're going to Vashavanka. newborns mm -hmm. and uh, it's uh, called Narodzeniu Vashavankach, Born in Vashavankas action. Uh -huh. It's my I like this action the most. Uh, and um, in Kyiv, um, uh, we uh, don't make uh, festivals or concerts in some places. Mm -hmm. It's uh, not um, our... Um, this is more of a, a grassroots thing. People decide, they know uh, this this day, people decide to wear their Vashavanka, you, yes. you see this. It's uh -huh. important to wear Vashavanka, not just to a concert or to a festival, but every day uh, when um, you're going to work or just when you leave. <laughs> And looking at your Vashavanka, is absolutely gorgeous pattern. So we see in Ukraine that multiple uh, different regions have different patterns. And so where, where does your Vashavanka come from? Um, it's my uh, Vashavanka from uh, Bukovina. It is a Chernivtsi region, mm -hmm. west of Ukraine, where I'm from. Mm -hmm. And so what do we see? What differences do you see in the regions? Uh, are there some that are more colorful or have different patterns? What what have you noticed about different regions Vushavankas? Uh Really, it is um, mm, really inter interesting science about Vashavankas, and really in every region, Vashavanka is other. Uh, for example, in uh, west of Ukraine, um, they are more colorful, mm -hmm. and uh, for example, in um, East or cent center of Ukraine, um, they are mm, more white, for mm -hmm. example. And uh, um, really, Vashavankas are mm, other in every region. So they're very but unique to the regions, unique, they tell the stories. Yes, of the but in every region, Vashavankas for people mean uh, not other, but one thing. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. It's a spiritual, uh, it is a material and spiritual heritage for every Ukrainian in every region. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for being with us today and, and telling us about this day. Thank you. Thank you. Today, we spoke with Lesia Voronyuk, the founder of Vushavanka Day in Ukraine. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.